Hi everyone, welcome back. As promised, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add those four internal elevations as well as this bathroom plan onto a sheet in my sheet set. First step is creating views. So I'll hit the V key and the space bar on my keyboard. I already have a view here that I don't need. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to select new and I'll call this view bathroom plan. I'll define my window and select this outer boundary here. Enter. Okay. Do that again. Bathroom elevation one for this first elevation. Enter. Okay. And now I'm going to close this window and I'm going to adjust my orientation to UCS1. If you missed how this is done, please refer to my UCS video. And I'll create a view here. V key, then spacebar. New bathroom elevation to define window. Click OK. And it's very important to make sure that the UCS is the correct one. This is UCS one, so make sure it's showing here. Click OK. Adjust UCS again. Plan C. V space new bathroom elevation 3. Now I'm going to type in SSM to open my sheet set manager and I'll open my intended sheet set. And now I'm going to use subsets for the first time. Subsets are like groups for your different kinds of drawings. So those four drawings were plans. I'm going to right click my sheet set, click new subset, and I'll call this subset plans. Click OK. And I'll select my four plans and add them to this subset here. And I'll right click again, select a new subset and call this wet area enlargement. Click OK. And this is where I'm going to add the sheet for this bathroom. So I'll right click it, select new sheet. Sheet number is 101. Sheet title, bathroom enlargement. Click OK. And there we have the sheet. Now I'll go to model views, double click, add new location and browse for the folder where my drawing is saved, then click open. Then I'll go to bathroom enlargements, click the plus sign to expand and nothing is showing because I didn't save. So I'll go back to bathroom enlargement, save that, come here and refresh. So all my views are showing here. I'll go back to my sheet. Now I'll start by dragging in the plan and I'll place it right here, click OK. Then I'll follow that by dragging in each one of my elevations. I'll just place them on the sheet for now and then I'll organize them. I'll select them all, click the padlock to lock their scale and I'll double click each one and turn off the grid so I can see. And now I'll just organize them on the sheet. Now that all my views are placed, I'm going to go to sheet views, click the plus sign next to my sheet. So all my views appear here and I'm going to start renumbering them. So I'll start with my plan. This is going to be the first one. Then I'll take each elevation and renumber those as well. 02, next, 03, next, 04, next, 05. Okay. And then I'll regenerate my sheet. Enter. As you can see, the view numbers appear straight away with the correct view title as well as the correct scale. And finally, I'll select all my views and place them on def points so these frames don't appear when I print. If I hit Ctrl P on my keyboard, then go to preview, my viewport frames are not showing. Cancel. Stay tuned. In my next video, I'm going to take a request that I received in my comments to show you how I quickly and easily project a section of the apartment that I'm working on. Thank you for watching.